Alright, so welcome back here, everybody. And we're going to just go ahead and continue from where we left off in the last lesson. Um, I know that at the end of the last lesson, I said I was going to go ahead and start working on our pedal controls here. And before I actually go ahead and do that, I want to go ahead and actually add a stretch control to each one of these inner and outer stems. Okay. And, but I also want to add the ability to go ahead and turn that on and off. So, what I want to go ahead and do here is think to myself, well, should I actually put the attributes on the ends of the um, <clears throat> NURBS uh, controllers here? And I don't, I don't, I'm not necessarily sure if I should go ahead and do that. Um, I was thinking, you know, well, maybe let's go ahead and actually put a, uh, just an extra control curve in here to go ahead and do that, but. We want to keep the rig basically as simple as possible. So our best bet probably is to go ahead and actually add the, the control on each um, end of these CCs here that will control the, the actual ends of the, the stretch control. So with those selected, let's just go ahead here and modify add attribute. We're going to add it as an enumerated value here and we'll simply just call this the stretchy controller okay so we'll just click on the green and change the name to stretch on uh, we'll go ahead and use the underscore blue should be STRE underscore off so go ahead and add those okay and I just want to make sure that the stretch control is on each one there just making sure that I select the right ones you can see there mm, okay so let's go ahead and turn our IK handles on here okay so we just need to simply select one IK handle okay come up here to the stretch IK mail script that I've included here no join offset um, we want the stretchy and the translate so we'll just go ahead and make that stretchy and you can see where it comes in and makes this little um, black handle you can go ahead and select that and then just shift select the, the end control and hit P and it's going to parent that control there. So now it's going to be completely stretchy. Okay, so I want to go ahead and do that for all of these here. So just select the IK handle, hit stretchy, and we'll go ahead and hit the IK handle, hit stretchy, and go ahead and select the IK handle, hit stretchy, and go ahead and basically close that now okay so we'll come in here and grab these little black candles and we just need to make sure that we go ahead and basically parent the correct one here okay just go ahead and parent it go ahead and grab this one parent that to the the yellow there Go ahead and grab this one, parent it to that yellow one there. Okay. So now we need, now we have our stretchies actually working with our stems and our controls here, as you can see there. Okay. So let's just go ahead and open up our outliner here. And you can see that it's going to make, um, for each individual one here, it's going to make these IK handle three, four, from one to four so we just need to go ahead and select that entire group group those call this the stretchy IK handles okay we'll go ahead and just shift select um, shift select the pot main control go ahead and parent that that way that our stretchy controls and the stretchy volume is actually gonna scale proportionate to our rig so it's gonna scale correctly whenever you scale your rig Okay, so now we need to go ahead here and um, have the ability to go ahead and turn those on and off. And the easiest way for us to go ahead and do those, which I probably shouldn't have parented that because it's just going to be easier for me to go ahead and select them first. Um, so I can get that parenting basically done here. And the controls real quick, just to make sure that I can actually select the stretchy. 
so let's just go ahead and open up our window general editors and our connection editor we're gonna take that IK handle reload it in the right we need to take the the nerves curves here nerves curve here just reload it in the left and you want to take the stretchy controller to the stretch okay do the same thing here for the top one if I can select it there okay reload that in the left select the the stretchy for the corresponding take the stretchy controller to the stretch select that nerves curve reload that in the left select the stretchy control IK okay and we'll go ahead and do the last one here grab that one and stretchy to stretch so now this stretch is is on so you're gonna see where it's gonna basically not stretch so I'm just gonna have to edit the attribute which th that's real simple um, we'll just go ahead and select um, each one here and then we'll just simply change those attributes but before I w go ahead and do that let's just go ahead and select all those stretchy IK handles regroup them call us the stretchy IK handles underscore stem okay shift select the pot main go ahead and parent that and now that's actually gonna scale correctly so let's go ahead and just move that outliner off the screen here okay and then we'll just select the um, handles where our uh, or the control cars where our stretchy limb is actually gonna be on here we'll come up to modify edit the attribute select the stretchy controller and we just need to go ahead and basically rearrange these so we'll take the on to the capital OFF just so that we can signify the difference between the the lowercase one and the uppercase one okay and we'll turn this lowercase one to the on both with capital letters okay do the same thing here for this one modify edit the attribute stretchy controller um, on this is definitely OFF and just select that on okay and just want to make sure that it, it's gonna work properly here so you can see there okay so we'll just go ahead and turn that off select that one the stretchy controller do the same thing OFF reselect it on and we'll just simply go ahead and select the last one here and reselect it again and turn that off to the capital ON okay so now we have our stretchy controllers set up for this you can see that it's off so we'll just go ahead and turn it on there and boom okay so just simply go ahead and turn that off all right, so now we're ready to go ahead and um, make the connections here for what are going to be our pedals. Um, I'm going to start doing that in the next lesson, and I just want to go ahead and actually give you a little bit of fair warning. It's going to take a little bit of time for us to go ahead and get all those connections done, um, simply because there's a lot of information that that has to be covered here. So um, we'll begin that process in the next lesson. So come on back and uh, keep watching.